Welcome to the Bondi Scrapper Channel. It's a scrap run day. Uh, I think the last time that we saw each other, it was raining in Sydney, and it's still raining. And they think it's gonna be raining for another three weeks. Good on you, Sydney. So going after the scrapyard today is the usual array of uh, shred type steel. Um, bit of a box of rubbish in there, bit of an air conditioning component there. Uh, a bicycle trainer. There, that's an unusual one. The, um, the shell of the troffer uh, fluorescent light fittings. More bits and pieces. Bits and pieces to hang your telly on the wall, etc, etc. And a microwave oven that is full of bits and pieces there. And more to the point in where the uh, usual transformer and everything sit in behind there. Uh, that is just chock-a-block full of... Uh, screws and nuts and bolts and little small knickknacks of steel which uh, amazingly add up to quite a bit to the point where I think this thing weighs around about around about the three bags of cement mark as in the three small uh, work health and safety compliant bags of cement it's got some weight to it uh, and that's why it's not full in the uh, cooking compartment because I actually couldn't lift it up when it was full just found a bit there. Uh, what else have we got going? We have four little uh, air conditioning slash fridge compressors. So uh, a little bit of weight there. I think they're worth about a dollar dollar a kilo, and they're usually around about around about five kilos each. So there's going to be twenty dollars there. I think the steel there's going to be about fifty kilos there. Um, so what's that? About twelve dollars fifty something like that. Fifteen dollars maybe. Attachment wire. Uh, I'm always getting attachment wire these days. Uh, not a great deal there. There's probably only about 10 kilos, something like that, maybe 15 at most. Dollar uh, fifty a kilo. So what have we got? 15, maybe 20 dollars worth, maybe 25 dollars if it's a great day. And uh, in here, here's the money spinner. Uh, burnt copper. So lots and lots of bits of horrible-looking stuff out of uh, air conditioner units and. Uh, all these brand new uh, wiring ferrules, which I found in the dumpster, some bunch was throwing them out. I tried selling them on eBay to no avail, and so now they're going off to the scrap metal yard. Um, and then here's the chance at one. Here's the one that I'm just going to take a bit of inquiry about and hope hope for the best. Um, all these brass ends off. Um, off various cables and things like that and there's I think there's about three kilos worth there and uh, let's see what we whether or not they'll give us anything for those um, sometimes they say it's just shred and sometimes they say oh yeah we'll give you some type of contaminated brass type price of oh, around about a dollar a kilo so there might be three bucks worth there but it gets them out of the shop uh, as for that stuff there, I think there's about eight kilos there, if I remember rightly, is what I weighed it out at. Ten dollars fifty a kilo, so it's going to be at eighty dollars. Um, again, this is only going to be about a hundred dollar load, but that's better than a no dollar load. So um, I'll get it packed into the car, and uh, I'll talk to you in a few minutes uh, with the prices that we got. Well, we're back, and uh, that was a very pleasant experience. Uh, let's get into it. Burnt copper, prices are fairly stable, uh, $11.10 a kilo, I think when I went uh, about a month ago, it was $11.30, um, so $11.10, there were 8 kilos there, $88.80, that's pretty good, uh, that also, uh, no, I'm wrong, I was about to talk about something else, um, copper insulated attachment wire, $2.55 a kilo, I think it was like $2.60 the last time I was there. So again, more or less stable. Um, all those little bibs and bobs that I had in the plastic bag, the little cable ends, he said throw them in with that, uh, which is interesting because I think last time he gave me irony brass or something like that, but uh, I'm pretty happy with $2.55 a kilo for that. Uh, 19 kilos, so $48.45 just for rubbishy wire. That is just unbelievable. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure a couple of years back we were getting 50 cents a kilo for attachment wire. Fridge compressors, 80 cents a kilo. I think that's like 10 cents up on the last time that I took fridge compressors in, which was, you know, six months ago or something like that. Um, 80 cents a kilo, 42 kilos, 33 dollars and 60 cents. Can't complain about that. 
And uh, here's the standout. Here's the amazing one. Light gauge number one, $340 a tonne. That's 34 cents a kilo. A month ago, that was $250 a tonne. So uh, that's a huge increase in price. Um, just amazing. That's, God, I can't even work that out, what the percentage is. I'm sure one of you can, and you'll put it down there in the comments for me because you're much better at math than I am at times, especially under pressure. Uh, yeah, but um, 100 kilos neat was there, so that was uh, more than I expected. $34 just for steel. God, and it cost me like not even $2 worth of petrol to drive up there, so that's great. Um, I am so, so happy with that. Uh, another good day. A very princely 169 kilos of uh, metal kept out of landfill, so that's okay. And a lovely $203.97 straight into the bank account, which um, makes up for the uh, strata fees that I had to pay for my home unit today. So, well, makes up for like one tiny bit of it. Uh, anyway, look, it's all fun and games. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you enjoyed the update. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.